This is my Singer Fridden EC1117 uh, Nixie Tube Calculator. And here you have the floating point dial. If the camera will focus, you can see. Uh, hello? Alright. Well, that's the floating point dial. Uh, lets you set the decimal on the display. Uh, where the decimal goes, which of these tubes it is. So currently I have it set to the third. Um, here you have your rounding mode switch, which you can see here. So if I move that. Um, and then up here you have a summation function knob, which, why won't this thing focus? Come on. <laughs> this knob basically just can, uh, has an automatic summation of values I think you multiply only and it puts them in the memory in their sum. Okay there we go. Yeah you can see those very nice looking chromed knobs. Um, I'm not sure what the fraction switch is. I've tried it. It doesn't really seem to do anything. I'm not sure. Um, then you have your typical calculator functions. So you have your memory uh, registers and then the recall button and then the recall while racing clear clear error uh, clear error sorry and then you're just normal calculator buttons I think I'll mention these are really satisfying to press very tactile and here are the tubes themselves you can see those are very nice and speaking of the tubes the way this thing turns on is quite amazing Nice row of Nixies there. And here it is again. Always satisfying every time. But yeah. So basically, as you can see, you can enter numbers like that. It's just like any calculator, pretty much, just with a steampunk twist. I guess. You can do nines. We can divide them by two. You can see there. And we can just hit the plus equals. And you see that. Let's try. Let's clear that. We can do 22.5. And you can see the little decimal. And we can multiply that times. 67.689 you can see the nice glow of these tubes yeah look at that there you go you can see we reached the limit there you can do a minus Oh, let's try that again. Oh, it just cuts the three, cuts you down to three digits, three digits. And as you can see, if you have a negative value, it'll tell you it's negative. And entering negatives on this thing is actually quite strange because you have to enter your number so like 900 and then you have to press the negative symbol after you enter it and it'll move uh, it to the appropriate decimal and as you can see here if I change it so if I decide I really want to have a crazy decimal so I'll change it to the sixth decimal say as you can see there and I clear this. I can do three divided by three. Oh, or sorry, let's do one divided by three. As you can see, it'll give me the decimal point directly in the middle this time, rather than over there. And also the summation function 
if I turn that to this. I'm not entirely sure how it works, it still kind of confuses me to be honest. But basically I can do 99.36y, add that to the memory register. And we can clear that, and you can see the memory glowing. Now if I hit this S1 key, it'll return that. I can do times 2, 198, times 2, you can see that, and we recall the register, and it does it again. You can see that also got doubled, so actually let's, let's recall the memory register and clear it. Let's do 100 times 2. Let's get ready for this to focus here. There we are. As you can see, it automatically puts it in the register. So we can do times 2. 400. Clear. I don't know. It's some sort of summation function. I'm not entirely sure on the detail, but in any case, I think this calculator is very, very cool. It was made in 1972 and originally cost uh, $545 this part for this particular model, which would equate to about $3,200 if adjusted for inflation, which is insane. This thing had nine processors in it, one of which was used just for storing the uh, memory register. So yeah, this thing was pretty insane back in the day. I mean, it was one of the last calculators released with a Nixie tube display. And overall, I think it looks quite nice. It's quite heavy. I think it's something like six pounds, I'd say, when I pick it up. But yeah, it, it really can only multiply, add, subtract, and divide and some primitive form of a summation it can do. And that's about it. Everything else, <laughs> it can't do the things, a simple little dinky calculator like this. Uh, this here has more functionality than this. So, gives you an idea how far technology's come along, but <sighs> in any case, I find this thing quite amusing overall. Yeah, it was very cool. I picked it up on eBay for 90 bucks, and I think it's a worthy investment. It's quite cool. So yeah, that's the end of my little tired midnight nerd rant with an out-of-focus camera. So, see you guys later. Stop.